what is a superconductor? Maybe you have seen some recent reports about the possibility of a superconductor with the name LK99. Today, we're going to talk about what exactly is a superconductor and how to invest in them. Nick, maybe you can just break down very simply what exactly we're talking about here when we say superconductor. Casey, our world is built on the flow of electricity, but the science we use to create and harness the power of that electricity is very imperfect. Thus, for at least a week now, some social media rings have been losing their minds over this newly described superconductor dubbed LK99. But for some background, this isn't a science channel or podcast. We look at this stuff through the lens of investment. But let's talk about some basics of electricity. We use electricity in circuitry. This is the flow of electrons, usually the flow of electrons from one atom to the next. An insulator is a material with tightly bound electrons that do not allow the flow of electricity. So think glass, rubber, plastics. Semiconductors, which we obviously talk a lot about here on Shipstock Investor, is a material that allows for the flow of electricity under certain situations. So silicon, our favorite element here at Shipstock Investor, which conducts electricity when doped with other elements and under the right voltage, aka the right amount of push, gets those electrons moving. And then there are conductors which have loosely held electrons and thus allow for the easy flow of electricity. So most metals like copper are conductors. A superconductor conducts electricity with no resistance. And this concept of resistance is very important because presently our electric systems, such as electric grids, personal electronics, and devices that use magnets like EVs, are not that efficient because they bump up against that resistance. Conductors easily allow the flow of electricity, but because of the structure of the metal crystals, electrons bump up against some resistance, and that resistance means loss of power. This is very apparent to you and I from the heat given off of electrical systems, like how your smartphone or how your computer heat up when performing a compute-intense task. A superconductor can help solve this. No more heat is really just the beginning. Think lossless power transmission, making the world a more efficient place, super energy efficient grids, quantum computers, battery powered devices that last days and weeks rather than just hours, frictionless transportation like high speed maglev trains. But here's the problem. Superconductors actually do exist now. They were demonstrated originally back in the mid 20th century, but they only superconduct under very cold temperatures and under extreme pressure. A real world example of this is an MRI or magnetic resonance imaging machine. Not a very efficient device. If you've ever had to get stuck inside of an MRI machine, you probably know this, but nonetheless, a medical marvel. Some scientific theories also posit that the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from the sun's radiation, the magnetic field is created by superconductors somewhere in the Earth's core. So now let's move to the LK99. South Korean scientists cooked this up in a lab using a lead copper phosphate compound that superconducts at room temperature and under no pressure and exhibits a very strong magnetic field. This report is controversial, but there have been a couple of labs that have claimed to recreate the LK99. If this isn't fluff, lots of work lies ahead to create an efficient process to fab LK99 to make it a commercial reality. Many years of work will be needed if energy-efficient superconducting future is to be a reality. But, uh, Casey, the hype is nevertheless building. This is the downside of the current AI-powered reality that we live in right now, expect to suddenly hear a lot about superconductors in the days, weeks, and months ahead. For example, just days after LK99 first came to light on the internet, a startup in Florida called Taj Quantum, which has nothing to do with quantum computing, 
Also worth noting that this is also a blockchain company. Taj Quantum said it received a patent for a superconductor, another superconductor that works at room temperature and under no special pressure conditions. More hype is coming in. Quantum computing stocks are up big in the last week. IonQ, ticker symbol IONQ, up over 40% in five days. Rigetti Computing, another quantum computing startup, up almost 60% in that same time span. Why? Superconductors could, emphasis on could, help finally make quantum computing a reality and create more energy efficient supercomputing orders of magnitude greater than what is now possible in data centers, like those powered by those awesome NVIDIA chips. Let's talk about one more oddity here. American Superconductor, or AMSC. This stock is up 125% in five days as of this recording morning of August 2nd. As the name implies, American Superconductor does research into superconductors, and it has two primary segments. Nick, maybe you can tell us about those. So the first, Wind Tech Solutions. The company says enables manufacturers to launch best-in-class wind turbines quickly, effectively, and profitably. You think about a wind turbine, there's a big magnet in those things to help the spin created by the wind generate electricity. And then the second, Grid Tech Solutions provides engineering, planning services, and advanced energy grid systems that optimize network reliability, efficiency, and performance. American Superconductor is primarily a U.S. government contractor. They recently announced a $34 million contract with the Navy. I looked over the most recent slide presentation, and it looks like This also includes some defense systems for Navy ships. And based on what I read, it sounds a lot like the latest Mission Impossible movie. They're developing an entity. Is that right, Nick? Casey, in layperson's terms, I think that is exactly correct. So even though they're developing this, they have nothing to do with LK99. But it appears that some investors have probably latched onto the superconductor part of the business name and are taking advantage of this hype to make some quick money. So it's worth pointing out that AMSC, American Superconductor, has reported $106 million in revenue over the last 12 months, ending in the first quarter of 2023, but generated negative $24 million in free cash flow and has generated a $35 million net loss over that last 12-month stretch. It does have $23 million in cash and short-term investments and no debt, but this is no startup. American Superconductor was founded in the 1980s, so tread carefully here, folks. It looks like we maybe have a new hype cycle. Maybe the current generative AI hype will pass the torch off to superconductors. So here's our take here at Chipstock Investor. Superconductors are really exciting. Maybe LK99 is the real deal, unlike some of the head fakes in times past. There have been a lot of false reports, a lot of very dubious claims made around superconductors in the not-so-distant past. But if LK99 is real, the development of it will take time. It's going to take years for scientists to figure out the best way to fabricate this stuff in mass. And if commercialization is to be broad-based, it is also going to take years to build out some sort of supply chain and ecosystem surrounding the superconductor. So stay tuned. This is an emerging story, but we wanted to bring you this update on superconductors, investing in it, and why you should be very cautious. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. We still have more earnings reports to come out this week. See you all soon.